Um, if you've enjoyed our commentary, please do check us out. You can find my stuff at twitter.com slash catspajamassc2. I really appreciate any followers there. I, I frequently tweet about StarCraft and all events related to that. Not a lot of ancillary tweets, just pretty much StarCraft all the time. So twitter.com slash catspajamassc2. Here we go, guys. Countdown has begun. Let's get things started. Game four now, Icy Cup, Citadel of Gaia, Druby, and Cats. One game away from 750 bucks to split, and Optic Zero and Select, uh, many, many games away from having 750 bucks to split. They're going to have to do something drastic here, perhaps, or, you know, just play as solid as they possibly can, since Cats and Druby seem to know all the ins and outs of this 2v2 matchup. Cats is going to be our yellow Zerg down on the bottom spawn along with his teammate Complexity Druby, that blue Terran. These guys have been playing together for years, all the way back into Brood War. And on the other side of the map, we have FXO Optic Zero. He's the pink Protoss, playing from South Korea right now, and his teammate Dignitas Select here in the Prodigy Team Star League. They have made it all the way to the Grand Finals, but now it is looking pretty uh, desperate, pretty, um, I don't know. I don't know the word I'm looking for here, but... Yeah, that's that's a good one. Desperate works. Um, because we need to see something drastic from Select and Optic Zero to be able to kind of turn the tables here. I thought they had an honest shot in game number one when they did outright cheese, and it worked pretty well. They forced a very, very large base trade situation. Looks like Optic Zero and Select going to stick to their guns, though. Optic Zero dropping down the gas for Select to use so he can use his resources to continue his wall and get his tech along quite a bit faster. He is, in fact, going to put down a barracks there, and we do have... I'm, I'm curious to see what Optic Zero does, if he goes for that Forge Fast Expand, or if he tries to do something like... Because uh, I, if I remember right, they were doing well with their Stargate place yesterday, but against people that were more rush-oriented, they were actually having pretty good success with something like Six Gate Blink Stalker, plus supported by just ground units from, from uh, Select. And yeah, we did see that 6 k Blink Stalker against Team EG earlier, and I did think of the word I was looking for is urgent. I the, ah, the word good. the word emergent popped into my head, and I was like, that's not right. It can't be because that's not a word. <laughs> but um, urgent things are. It's there's a state of emergency here for Select and Optic Zero. So I just combined the two and knew it was wrong. Anyway, it looks like Derby might lose an SCV. Oh no, run away! He's got to watch out. He's Down to five points of health. This probe is dead set on getting that SCV kill. He'll probably come back around for another pass. Oh, he's getting ah, repaired. Ah, nice little cute repair. He has friendly SCVs to assist him in living. But <laughs> uh, it looks like Optic Zero is going to just pull back, go home now. Um, interested in Cat's build. Again, he went for spawning pool and speed first. Go ahead and pull all those drones out of the assimilator just so he can get tons and tons of minerals for another hatch eventually and some queens and spine collars if needed. And it looks like a solid wall coming down for Optic Zero right away. He's not even going to mess with any sort of early aggression. This is a solid wall all the way around, actually, for Sup Suns. Uh, so they are going to be pretty well defended against any sort of really, really, really early aggression. And they're going to try and tech up and play their Stargate game from there on out. But if we see the same sort of thing, a big bailing bus plus that Marauder play out of... Druby and Cats, that would be pretty effective, but it indeed does look like Druby is going to do a tech switch here and go to early Hellions. Mass Hellion and Speedling probably going to be the first composition to come out of Cats and Druby. There is a Starport coming up as well, so we could actually see that Banshee uh, combination that we saw a couple of times out of Druby if he can manage to get into, example, Optic Zero's mineral line with a single Banshee while there are eight Hellions on the ground mm -hmm. being uh, tying up all of those ground forces, then uh, that's something that Druby and Cats have had success with already in this tournament. Cats, really, all he has to do is just spam Speedlings, and it looks like he's just going to expand for the time being, testing out the walls of both his enemies, realizing that uh, there's no need to attack right now. And it looks like right away Select is going to put down a reactor on his starport. One Viking is coming up already. We'll see if he puts down a medevac after that. He's got the resources. He's also got enough for another Viking, and it is going to be another Viking. So two Vikings. We also have a tech lab going up on this factory. So he's just going very, very quickly to that marine tank build, it looks like. That bunker on the high ground, just a single marine in there. That actually will repel this attack for the time being. There's cannons on the other side, so they cannot really take that avenue either. I'm wondering, though, if there's a sweet spot where they can start working on that destructible debris right now. Like, if a Hellion could get in range between those cannons and that bunker, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure there's 
some spots there where they could actually get started working on that. Instead, they are just going to pull all the way back home. Druby is going to get that first Banshee nearly completed here. He does not get Cloak with this typically, so not surprised to see that not researching. And we do have expansions coming out of both players from Team Assassins. Optic Zero is going to start putting down a spotter pylon over on the left as well. He does not have near enough resources to go ahead and expand himself. He, though, is just going to his Void Rays, bypassing those uh, Phoenixes this time around and just going to go straight to Void Rays. We do have the first Banshee coming up. There is going to be a Viking and a Void Ray ready for him, though, so that's not really going to represent that much of a problem. And Optic Zero, he's just dropping down another pylon for the meantime. Select. He does have his Engineering Bait down, so he's going to be able to ward it off those early cloaked banshees. Druby's going to try and do damage to his uh, opponent. Yes, Optic Zero first, but he is going to be repelled. He's going to be repelled by that single Viking because Druby has not researched Cloak. Uh, Katz is getting his lair up now, and Cloak is on the way for select, so there should be time actually to get an Overseer or two. He doesn't actually have to go through the Evolution Chamber and the Spore Crawlers if he can get an Overseer and enough Queen coverage. Druby actually placing turrets inside of his allies' base to, to help against the forthcoming... Uh, Phoenix and Cloak Banshee from Team Sup Suns. And a command center is being built now for Select. Actually, I believe it's a third command center. He's looking to expand again. Let's no, see. no, I was wrong. Okay, that's, no, that's just that, his natural. That yeah. Starport and Factory clump on the minimap looked like a command center to me, so I thought perhaps he had double expanded. But uh, Nexus coming up for Optic Zero, so Sup Suns both expanding. Select is going to be here with two Banshees, or was that a Banshee and a Viking? It's combo? a Banshee and a okay. Viking, and unfortunately that cloak's not going to do him any good in this circumstance. Um, oh, he could get. Oh, wow, he's actually landed his Terrible Vikings. Decision. Oh, no, and he's going to lose so many units there. He is going to try and go after this Viking to help equalize, and he did take down three. Three Marines as well, but probably not enough damage done there. Oh, nice job. The Void Ray does manage to make its way in, though, and pick off a bunch of Marines while this Banshee sits at that sweet spot and just picks off unit after unit after unit. Tons of those going down this, wow, just outside of the range of the missile turret. And this Banshee has already picked up 11 kills. A lot of damage being done here with this Air Force. Destroying the tech lab that is currently researching STEM. Excellent choice. Now, even though there are four Marines coming out at a time and a Viking, uh, they may not actually have the mobility required to kill off this Void Ray and this Triple Phoenix Banshee uh, assist combo here. There's four Queens crawling their way across here, though they do have some energy for transfusions and things. Optic Zero and Select decide maybe we shouldn't stick around so long here and let these Queens crawl up and kill us. <laughs> and Optic Zero is going to make his way away. There's a few more units coming up for Select, though. Hellions are going to be able to rush in and do a fair amount of damage. Here they come into the uh, mineral line because all of these Queens were away and so much damage is going to be done here. These drones just lining themselves up. So select and Optic Zero saying we are not out of this yet. We are going to keep doing damage. Wow, that is a lot of queens up the cat, so. Yeah, the unit control this time is so much better and the wall-offs actually preventing cats and Drippy from doing that early aggression that they like to do. Just, just solid enough to repel those attacks and deter them from attacking. So now we still have this Void Ray up and running. A couple of Marines on the backside of it are going to be able to pick it off. It looks like there goes the Void Ray. Five Marines still intact. Only Phoenix is left here. Two more Cloaked Banshees showing up though for Select. And there's no vision here in range. We do have some Infestors dropping Fungals. Those will hit Cloaked units and uncloak them for the time that they're fungled. But uh, now Infestors starting to get lifted. That You know that's a, a desperate time when your Infestors are being lifted instead of other more valuable targets, but um, yeah, Optic Zero just uh, content with the damage that he's done, joined up by more Phoenixes now, it doesn't look like any more Banshees are in production for Select, he's switching to that Blue Flame and Tank Hellion, so Mech going to be the unit composition of choice for Select, while Optic Zero attacks on three more gateways. I just love how they're dictating the pace now, though, it's not even that they're just outright killing their opponents, which they are significantly ahead in supply, don't get me wrong, but they're dictating the pace of the game, which is exactly what they needed because Katz and Druby were so far ahead in every one of these engagements entrance thus far in the previous matches I, it's it's just such a refreshing change of pace here let's see they're going to make their way up though with their big mech force in addition to these meager gateway units plus the huge air force of optic zero he's going to make his way in and oh, the missile turret is going to ward those units away but this is still a pretty good spot for uh select and optic zero to be in they're going to have to defend ah. against all these <laughs> marines though but these blue flame hellions are doing so much damage the investors are getting picked up as well their fungal growth did damage but just to the shields they really didn't have enough life left over 
our uh, energy left over to start doing actual damage. There are still some fungals coming down, and we've seen that Cats and Jerby do not GG out of games until they are dead, so uh, they will continue to fight here. Select still just cranking out some mech. Void Rays still constantly in production from Optic Zero, and Druby really doesn't have anything to fight against these four Blue Flame Hellions. All he's got is SCVs and Marines, so Fungals are going to have to do the job here from Cats while SCVs <laughs> A-move into oh, the Hellions, and they left no. one alive just slightly too long, picked up another couple of bonus kills, and they still have pressure over a Cats natural area. Um, lots of Siege Tanks on the low ground and lots of Phoenixes in the air. These Infestors keep churning out, though, and Neural Parasite could actually be something to help swing the momentum here. I don't really expect it to, though, as there are just so many units here now from Subsons. And a few Infested Terrans do go down as well. Cass is using his energy to do that. There are a couple of Siege Tanks here. They're going to have to go after these Infested Terrans, though, because those Infested Terrans have pretty good DPS. They're going after the Siege Tanks. A lot of damage actually done there. Optics Heroes uh, Phoenix count was reduced to quite low, but he does have two Void Rays being rallied in at any one given point in time. A uh, lot of damage there. Oh, and Select manages to keep this Hellion up, so he is going to continue to do damage. Ah, but a couple of Zerglings come and clean it up. New reinforcements from Select, two more tanks, three more Blue Flame Hellions, and Cats and Drippy really only have light units aside from those Infestors, uh, still just dropping Fungals whenever they can. They're actually very low on energy, all of them. So these Marines will just have to avoid the Hellions long enough to try and pick off these Void Rays, and they may actually stay alive here. I can't really tell how many Marines are there. Some Fungals going down, obviously helping against these armored units on the Siege Tanks and the Void Rays. And the Medivacs look like they have kept up the Infestors and Marines perhaps long enough to save the day here. Lots of Speedlings coming up now, clearing up the ground. Void Ray just trying to rack up whatever kills it can. And these Siege Tanks on the low ground still doing a wonderful job uh, holding up there. 19 kills on that one in, in particular. And Select still running in and killing yet more workers for Druby. Druby down to just 29 supply, and that's going to rapidly fall as all of those SEVs get destroyed. Ugh. And Druby GG's! So we have a game taken by FXO, Optic Zero, and Dignitas Select. That is going to put them up at 3-1, unless Cats is still fighting. <laughs> Select throwing out the GG as well. Both the players are still macroing. So maybe that was just a GG from Drewby. Cats is still going to be fighting for a while, but I don't think that'll last long. As There we go, there's the GG. And Subsuns does take a game. Good for them. <laughs> I mean, it would have been pretty brutal if uh, Drewby and Cats had managed to 3-0 their winner's final and then 4-0 their grand final. So at least someone is standing up to them. 